हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोना सी अ प्रॉब्लम थ्री फोर फोर जीरो रिसर्च मीटिंग्स फॉर मैक्सिमम फ्री टाइम टू नाउ इफ यू हैव वेंट वॉच्ड फ्री टाइम वन आई विल हाईली रिकमेंड लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एन नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस टू सॉल्व बट स्टिल इंपॉर्टेंट टू एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड the different kind of problems although these two are a bit of different problems not exactly the follow up in in, in terms of constraint but yeah let's see it simply says that again uh, exactly same thing that uh, event time is given which is the maximum event time which you can have and also uh, you have the start and end time which represents the corresponding start and end of non overlapping meetings which you have as you can see 1 to 2 is one meeting and 3 to 5 is another meeting and so on and so forth okay let's continue now you can reschedule at most one meeting the 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 catch here is only you can reschedule at most one so i can just pick one meeting and put it somewhere so in the previous up uh, in the previous case or the previous problem we can only slide the meetings but in this case we can actually see let, let's see so what we can do is that moving its start time while maintaining the same duration such that the meetings remain non overlapping and i can put this meeting anywhere i want so i can get this meeting out and put it anywhere i want here the ordering will not matter but yeah the length of the meeting should remain same and say, for example for example let's take this example here in the early example i could only slide this yellow meeting left and right but now i can get this meeting out and put it here also but again the length of one should remain intact so with that as an ideology you have to return the maximum amount of free time which you can achieve cool now uh, when we say the maximum time which you can achieve let's take another example you know big example as what we discussed in the last video also taking the same example now my task here is that i want to achieve let's say if i have all these meetings in in my hand i can only switch one meeting now when i switch or like you know move away or like keep this meeting somewhere what i will do obviously if i will remove this meeting from this current location i will put it somewhere here or somewhere here did you see something what i did i did again okay, i'll get this meeting out and i will put it again i removed it and i put it somewhere here or somewhere here what happened because of this the meeting length actually became the new gap for me so after removing that meeting now i was able to achieve this as the gap length and again it can only be the left gap right gap and the current meeting itself that's it but now you might ask rn what if there is no space yes that's a good thing so now there's also there's also possibility that i will just shift it m2 left if i shift it which means this m2 remained in this area only then the gap will be g2 and g3 again if you are confused on how this is g2 g3 and how this gap is being made just go and watch the previous video which is the version 1 so we ultimately realize that there are two possible cases this meeting either shifts here or this meeting is actually going to any of the other gaps now for this meeting to go to any of the other gaps there should be one thing one condition obviously in any of the other gaps i should have that specific meeting size what i what i mean by that is if this was m2 let's forget about it let's focus on m1 m1 if again right now m1 left gap is g1 right gap is g2 when m1 will move anywhere anywhere right again apart from g1 g2 m1 can try to go anywhere else right it can try to go anywhere else but m1 can only go if in the left portion i have some gap which is more than m1 size also in the right portion i have some gap which is more than m m1 size so as you can see in the left i don't have any gap of length 2 because m1 is of length 2 i don't have any gap of that sort okay so he cannot go left m1 if i see oh yeah i have g5 which is of length 2 that's the reason m1 can go on the right side now if i go naive way naive way will say that for every meeting 
now we will see that for every meeting just go and check what is the gap on the left side and can m1 you know be placed in that gap same way now we will say go on the right side and check again when i say they see make sure you remember that i did not include g1 and g2 in consideration when i was trying to place m1 because i told you there are two cases first case is that this meeting this meeting which we had here right m2 either it will be placed in any other gap just you know in any other gap giving me a new gap let's say gi or other cases it slides slide case we'll consider obviously in 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 sliding case only these two gaps will be added but in a entirely shifting case a new gap of meeting size will be added so these are two possibilities and the first like the second possibility which means sliding possibility is pretty easy just adding the gaps but for the shifting possibility of a meeting you know shifting to any new location in that i have to go and find out in the left or in the right can i place it or not and in naive way we realize that uh, you have to iterate on the entire left iterate on the entire right to figure out if there is any gap which is more than if there is any gap on the right side right side which is more than or equal to my meeting right now uh for that naively i will go for every meeting and every meeting i can have n meetings and for n meetings i can have n plus 1 gaps in total so again roughly o of n square will be the complexity obviously this will not work this will not work so yeah this will not work so what what can i do i simply realized that i only want to know if in the right side there is some meeting some meeting whose gap is more than equals to you know my meeting which is m of i so isn't it like that i just want to know up till this point what is the maximum gap if i iterate from here let's say if i just erase all this if i what is the maximum gap so up till this point up till this point what is the maximum gap so it is maximum of g4 g g3 g4 and g5 so right and that's what i have wanted to do also i just want to know g3 g4 g5 what is the maximum gap i can have up till this point and that will solve my answer because again i can pre compute this by taking the suffix maximum and the prefix maximum again if you don't know what a suffix maximum and prefix maximum is simply go on to the practice playlist and in the arrays itself you will find the corresponding problems of prefix and suffix maximum again the standard concept is prefix and suffix sums but maximum is nothing but taking maximum rather than taking sum now again i'm just not including it here you can just go and practice from the practice problems again it is structured so you don't have to worry about it you will also always go from easy to hard now coming on back um we realize okay we'll just simply maintain the prefix and the suffix maximum and uh, that with that in o of one time i will be easy able to figure out what is the corresponding max on the right max on the left if i have that max right max left i can simply shift that meeting to that location and i will get a new gap which is equivalent to meeting size and then my answer will be impacted by g1 plus meeting size plus g2 uh, again the other case could be that it it is shifted in this area itself then in that case meeting size will be g1 plus g2 right okay now let's do a simple dry run and with that dry run we will simply figure out how we are solving it so firstly we realize that uh, we want to take the prefix and suffix maximum of the gaps so i simply got the gaps out now how to make the gaps array i'll not include it right now because uh, we made the same thing in the first problem also now when the gaps array is made now my task is to make the you know largest or you new know, suffix sum so i can say largest right and also largest left largest left okay let's see how we will make it so i'm just making the corresponding blanks right Ra largest right will be filled from right and largest left will be filled from left now largest right so let's put in next also 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so largest right will say that uh, let's say um, now again forget about these meetings for now forget about these meetings so now you don't have let's say meetings these meetings forget about it now only remember that you have these gaps okay i should have not removed the meetings uh, because it is pretty easy to understand with the help of meetings now for this specific g3 right for this specific g3 your task is that just give me again when i say this g3 i will have to consider some meeting right i have to consider some meeting now as of 
as a straightforward rule, what we will do when I am referencing a G3, I am always referencing a me meeting just before it. So if the index of gap is i, technically the index of meeting will be i minus 1 correspondingly in the array. What I mean by that is that if I tell you this, right, if i is let's say 2, right, if i is let's say 2, the index of gap is 2, right, so it is 0, 1, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So this is the index of 2. This is the index of 2, which represents the gap. Index of 1 is the meeting itself just before it. So index of 1 is the meeting just before it. Right? Again, length, forget about it. But the reference here is that the index of 2 is the corresponding gap. And just before it, with the lesser index, is actually the meeting. Now, coming on back. So now, why I told this is because that uh, for any corresponding meeting which we have, let's say for any corresponding gap which we have let's say in this case i was referring this gap so i'm only referencing the meeting beside it so if i'm referencing a meeting beside it for that meeting i have to take suffix max and prefix max right now i'm building a suffix max so what i can take in consideration for the suffix max i can take in consideration any 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 gap after this point right and for the prefix i can take any gap any gap before this point Okay, now coming on back, I was at this specific gap because right now I'm building a suffix max. So I am at this specific gap. I told you when I say this gap, it is in reference of this meeting for the final answer. Okay, now suffix max will say at this index, which is a reference of this meeting technically, you are iterating from the right side. When I when you're doing when you're doing that from the right side, you obviously can take the maximum of g4 and g5 let's do the same thing so what i did at this value i am taking maximum up till this point again why i am stressing here a lot because things will change when i will iterate from left and i will show you why so what i did here that what i, what I did here that let's okay uh, simple suffix max here nothing here suffix max is 2 here suffix max again 2 here suffix max 2 here suffix max 2 here suffix max 2 right you see that how i build the suffix max now let's try to focus on prefix max right so again if i just show you the corresponding code how it will look like that you went ahead from the index so you firstly iterated on i is equals to started off from this index which is i is equals to n minus 2 again this n is nothing but Three gaps dot size you are iterating on this specific array and then until uh, you know i is more than equal to zero and then i minus minus uh, what it did simply uh, your largest right array of uh, largest right of i will be nothing but maximum of uh, simple prefix max which is largest right of uh, right of i plus one and right of i plus one again let's say if this is i this will be i plus one so largest right which is this specific value and the corresponding input, which is nothing but your free gaps, free gaps of i plus one. So this is how you can build your largest side array. Now the catch will come up when you will build the left one. Let's see how. So when I mentioned that for a specific i, this is a gap, then I'm referencing this meeting. For this meeting, m2, it's one of the gaps is g2, other gap is g3. So his, again, for i to reference the just you know last gap it will be g1 and not g3 so you see that for g3 when i was here i was taking suffix max g4 g5 but for g3 for prefix max i cannot take g2 in consideration no it cannot come up i can only take up g0 and g1 so it is not i minus 1 it is i minus 2 let's see how okay so i am building i minus 2 so this will be nothing I will start off from the second index onwards. What, what, what I will do? I will obviously take the corresponding prefix maximum and then this value. Okay, two. So far, sorry, no, like not this, but yeah, this input. So far, the maximum is one. Again, you see that now the gap is one more than the what we discussed in the right, right one. Now, for this, like for this, we will discuss up to this point. Okay. Same way, uh, 
now it it will just keep on going two and then two so this is how i have built the corresponding left you know largest left if i just show you the corresponding code let's okay let's see the corresponding code also for that so i went or started from two and then i took the largest left of i minus one and then the free gaps of i minus two that is the change here that is the change here because it is i, I plus one it is i minus two now now this is a very simple task what is the simple task simply iterate on all the gaps and at any specific gap at the i th index i know that i have the largest right i have the largest left but 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 i told you this is for the meeting just before it which means if my gap index is i meeting index will be i minus 1 for the meeting which i had in the meetings array and for that meeting his his left gap will be free gap of i minus 1 and right gap will be free gap of i and this specific meeting length this specific meeting time like meeting length or meeting time you can say meeting time will be nothing but end time of i minus 1 minus start time of i minus 1 this is the current meeting time and when this meeting is being shifted anywhere else before shifting i have to check that if my meeting time if it is less than anything like maximum of maximum of your largest right or largest left you know largest right of i or largest left of i if the meeting time is less than any of this okay i'm good i'm good and this can be shifted maybe to left or right i, I don't worry about where but it can be shifted that's the question if that can be shifted the gap will become free gaps of i minus one plus free gaps of i plus meeting time this will be your gap and simply your task is maximize that free time now make sure to also have the to like to also con include one more condition that condition is what if this m2 shifts if this m2 shifts or slides uh, just you know left or right then the gap which i will add will be g2 plus g3 only which is free gaps of i minus 1 free gaps of i that's what i will add and simply maximize the answer let's see the code the code simply says firstly build up the free gaps array you know then i will build the uh, su su suffix max then i will build the prefix max then i will iterate on to the all the free gaps when i say free gaps obviously just beside i minus 1 will be the meeting index of the meeting which is just before that gap right okay then i will find the meeting time then i'll check the meeting time it if it can be shifted to the left or the right anywhere i will simply shift it and when i shift it i will get the gap sizes gaps of i minus 1 plus meeting time plus gaps of i and then okay obviously other case i mentioned obviously is the possibility of sliding it sliding it will give you a free gaps of i minus 1 and free gaps of i and that's how you can get the maximum free duration because you are again uh, there's a one small optimization how you can uh, have it is that you don't need to specifically take the largest array while you're iterating it you can keep on building the largest array that's one optimization but yeah that doesn't change the space and time much but the time here is o of n and space also will be o of n cool i hope you guys got it it is a pretty interesting problem and if you want to practice sliding window prefix sum prefix maximum again sliding window entire practice problems structured here and prefix sum prefix max everything is here cool bye bye